Hi there and welcome. My name is Noah. I'm with Dactronics and this is the first in a series of video blogs that we'll be releasing or vlogs and we're hoping to educate you on a number of topics relating to Venus Control Suite. You can check out additional information on our blog by going to blog.dactronics.com, hovering over training and then clicking on Venus Control Suite. There's a ton of great written articles on our blog already as well, and we're going to be adding some videos for those of you like myself who just think that reading is way too difficult. <laughs> for today's tutorial, I'm going to be demonstrating how to create and schedule a basic text-only message to your Dactronics display within Venus Control Suite, so let's get started. All right, so you are logged in and you've come to your dashboard. It would have your name up here in the upper right corner and you can see we are at the dashboard here. The first thing you're gonna do is go ahead and op pop open that menu by clicking in the top left corner and we're gonna go right into media. All right, this is gonna take us to our media library and if we wanna create just a basic message to get out to our display this time we're gonna go next to this add new button and click this little drop down arrow and you're gonna go right to new web presentation which you can see right there so this is gonna ask us to give our presentation a name and so you can come up with whatever message you would like this is just gonna be a file name I'm just gonna call this one uh, come come in and I'm going to select my display size. Now you're going to select your display size and that's going to pull right in here. So just select whatever size is listed. And that is the pixel dimensions of your display. And go ahead and click continue. All right, this brings us to our display canvas. And this is where we're going to create our message today. Uh, the first thing I like to do is change my background color. I'm going to come over here and just click the little uh, box there that has the background colors listed. And you can see there's a number of colors you can choose from. You can also click this slider over on the right and choose a basic color. And then in this larger box here, choose the shade of the color that you like. So I'm going to select one of these blue colors here and we're just gonna create our basic text message here. So the next thing you're gonna do is come up to the top and you can see there are several buttons up here. We just wanna add in some text. So I'm gonna click this little piece of paper icon that says add text box. And you can see when I select that, that's gonna bring in a big green box that's gonna fill up my canvas and it does show some text in there. Now we wanna edit that text and make it our own. So I'm just gonna type in my message And that is the message that I want to get across today. I've finished editing my text, so I'm just going to minimize this content pane. And then we're going to go down here to font to open that up. And this is where all of your font options will be listed. If you want to change the, the style of the font that you're using, you can click choose font right here and you can select one that, uh, that you like. Let's try this one. And then, of course, you'll probably want to bring your text down in size a little bit. So I'm going to bring mine down so it fits within my display. That looks good. And this is also where you can choose to do a bold font, italics, underline, and change the justification and text color if you like. Now, my text is white, which is contrasting really well with my blue background right now. So I'm just going to leave that as it is. And you can see that by default, you will have a one pixel black outline around your text. If you want to remove that, you can come down to effects right here and you can remove that black outline. I'm actually gonna make mine a two pixel outline. That's gonna make that text pop out even more. And that looks good. Once, you've done, once you're done creating your message, you can come up here to the zoom and change that to 100% and just make sure that you can read it and that it's legible. That's gonna be more represent the, uh, the clarity of your display if you change that zoom to 100%. All right, so hopefully you're following along here. You've created your message. I'm gonna go ahead and save this one. And then I'm gonna click exit to go back to my media library. And you can see it's going to show up right on top there. It's the newest item that we've created. So that's the first thing listed in your media library. 
now that you've created it, we're ready, ready to send that out to your display. So I will go ahead to the menu here on the left. I'm going to pop that open and I'm going to go to playlists, which is the next option right below your media library there. Now, if this is your first time in the software, this is probably your first playlist. So this might be just a blank screen for you, but no worries. Go ahead and click the add new button right there. And we're going to set up our playlist now. What I like to do is if you come up here and click on Untitled Playlist, you can give your playlist a name, and we can just call this one the All Day Playlist. Now this is where you would set up different parameters within your playlist, but for today, we're just going to leave all of that and click Confirm. You always want to add your display to your playlist, so I'm going to click Add Displays right here. And if you just have the one display, it'll just be one item listed here. You just want to put a checkbox next to that and click confirm. And that just tells your playlist to send it to that particular display. And the next thing you want to do is add your media files. So I'm going to click add media files right here. That's going to pull open my media library on the right hand side of my screen here. I'm just going to click the plus arrow to add my slide into my playlist. And I'm done with the media library, so I'm going to close out of that. And that's really all there is to creating your playlist. As soon as you're done making changes, you always want to remember to click Save right here. And that will send the playlist out to your display. So creating a basic text message and sending it out to your display is really that easy. Um, thanks for tuning in today. Be sure to check out dactronics.com slash content if you want to check out some free content for your display. And like I said, be looking on the Venus Control Suite blog for more videos and more posts to come out to help you in Venus Control Suite. Thanks and have a good day.